Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be doing an in-depth mod guide on the Stormfire, or the Clear Shot, as it was later released. We're going to be doing a Brass Barrel upgrade, we're going to be doing a Spring upgrade, and we're going to be taking out the Air Restrictor. So, let's get her open. And if you are wondering what to get me for Christmas, a nice electric screwdriver would not go amiss. Alright, let's take a look at what we've got here. We are, of course, shooting our springs all over the room, which is going to be a pain in the butt here in a second. But, good news is on this particular blaster, the plunger head screws off. Which always makes this so much easier. We are then going to cut a section of K26 that is the same length as the original spring using bolt cutters. There we go. Nice little section of K26. And then put it right back on. And that's the spring dealt with. It's actually a really nice and easy gun to modify. I really, really like them. Next comes the slightly more difficult part, taking out the air restrictor and brassing the barrel on this particular gun. The air restrictor is not easy to remove, unfortunately. This se section is all glued together, so we're going to have to drill it out from behind and then drill through the barrel. So let's head over to the drill press. I have my drill press set up with a 17 30 seconds inch drill bit, which was an obscure bit and I had to order it online, but it's magnificent. No idea what it's gonna do to the video quality when I turn this on with this thing on the bench, but we're gonna find out. I'm going to drill out the air restrictor from behind and then drill out the whole barrel in order to be able to fit the brass into it. I will still need to file it a little bit, but this saves so much time. Barrel's now drilled out. On to the next step. The drill bit alone is not quite enough to get it to the right size for the brass, so I use a round rasp. Just going around the inside. Okay. The brass now fits and is nice and tightly seated. Now we just have to cut off it at the appropriate length. I cut them to the same length as the barrel. Uh, because the air restrictor is removed, you can get the dart all the way in. Some people like having a nice long barrel, but then you need a ramrod kind of to actually seat it properly, and I don't know that it makes that big of a difference. I will find out when I finally get a chronograph and can actually test the difference between a long brass barrel and a short brass barrel, but for now, we're just going to stick with short ones. So. Now, we need to cut off the barrel. While a pipe cutter is on my list of tools to acquire, I do not yet have one, so we're going to use a hacksaw and this cutoff jig. All right, once you've got a cut, you of course got to clean it up a little bit. Take out all the burrs. Especially from the inside, or it'll cut up your darts, something horrible. Last but not least, we're going to put a little bit of Teflon, well, let's check the seal. Yeah, it could use a little bit better seal, so we're going to add just a little bit of Teflon tape under the O-ring. 
delicate balance this part. Too much and the seal becomes too strong and you lose power because it's causing drag. Too little and you're losing pressure. Perfect. Final step is I have to go hunt down the springs that ran away. As we are upgrading to a K26, we are going to want to increase the catch spring a little bit if we can. Okay, got a slightly beefier spring. A little bit longer, but still compresses enough. Get all the bits back in. All right, there you have it. It's all buttoned back up. Let's give it a shot. Sure, I have a dart around here somewhere. All right, there we have it. We'll give it a couple of test shots. Barrel's good and tight. As expected, terrifying performance. Beautiful. There you have it, the full mod guide on the Stormfire, aka the Clear Shot. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.